Hey there, fellow time travelers of nostalgia. Do you why, did you, do you remember those good old days when you nestled on the couch with a bowl of popcorn, waiting eagerly for your favorite show to grace the screen? Well, if you're one of those lucky souls who tuned in back in the day, let's take a stroll down memory lane, shall we? Today, I'm here to reminisce about the delightful 1983 TV series, Fraggle Songs. Ah, oh, the magic of those Jim Henson puppets, the enchanting world of Fraggle Rock, and the catchy tunes that had us humming for days. Do you remember the joy of watching Gobo, Red, Moki, Wembley, and Boober embark on their whimsical adventures? Or perhaps you had a soft spot for the ever-wise Marjorie the Trash Heap. As we chat about those unforgettable moments, characters, and experiences from Fraggle songs, it's like rekindling an old friendship. Did you sing along with the Fraggles? Did you ever secretly wish you could join them in their underground world? Share your treasured memories with us at EUR. We'd love to hear about your favorite episodes, the quirky doozers, or even that indelible theme song that's probably playing in your head right now. Now, let's dive into some fascinating tidbits about the show, because there's always something new to discover, even in the most familiar places. So, fasten your seatbelts, fellow Fraggle enthusiasts, because we're about to uncover some gems from the world of Fraggle songs. Fraggle Songs is a beloved 1983 TV series that emerged from the creative genius of Jim Henson, the mastermind behind the Muppets. This imaginative show takes viewers on a whimsical journey into the magical world of Fraggle Rock, a subterranean universe inhabited by colorful and endearing creatures called Fraggles. At its heart, the series is a musical extravaganza, where the Fraggles, including iconic characters like Gobo, Moki, Red, Wembley, and Boober, sing and dance their way through life's ups and downs. Each episode is a delightful blend of catchy tunes and valuable life lessons, subtly educating young audiences about friendship, diversity, and environmental stewardship. The show's unique style, characterized by Jim Henson's signature puppetry, and the intricate design of the Fraggle world set it apart from other children's programs of its time. Fraggle songs had a profound impact on popular culture, embedding itself in the hearts of generations and inspiring a devoted fan base. Its enduring popularity has led to spin-offs, merchandise, and even a stage adaptation. The show's timeless charm continues to captivate audiences, proving that its messages of harmony and cooperation are as relevant today as they were in 1983. Fraggle Song stands as a testament to Jim Henson's unparalleled ability to create enchanting worlds and meaningful storytelling that transcends generations. The Gorgs of Fraggle Rock, pioneering puppetry in 1983 TV series in 1983, Fraggle Rock hit the small screen, bringing a colorful world of Muppets to life. While the show is fondly remembered for its catchy songs and whimsical characters, one remarkable aspect often overlooked is the pioneering puppetry used to bring the Gorgs, one of the show's prominent species, to life. The Gorgs, a family of giant creatures, required two performers each, an actor to perform in the costume and a puppeteer to handle the voice and operate the facial expressions using radio controls. This approach was a departure from traditional Muppet characters, which typically had the performer inside, operating the head with one hand, limiting the character's mobility to one functional arm. With the gourds, the puppeteers could operate the facial expressions from outside the costume. This innovation allowed for a more expressive and nuanced performance, enabling the gourds to convey a wider range of emotions. It also made the characters more believable and relatable to the audience. Additionally, video cameras were installed inside the gourds' eyes, providing the puppeteer with a first-person perspective. This feature allowed the performer to see the world from the gourds' point of view, adding depth to their interactions with other characters and the environment. This groundbreaking approach to puppetry not only improved the quality of the show but also set a new standard for Muppet Productions. It showcased Jim Henson's commitment to pushing the boundaries of puppetry and storytelling, cementing Fraggle Rock as a groundbreaking series in the world of television. Karen Prell, who voiced Red Fraggle, also auditioned for a role in the series. While she initially aimed for the role of Moki, Jim Henson saw potential in her for the character of Red. This twist of fate led to Karen Prell becoming the voice behind one of the show's most beloved characters. In summary, the 1983 TV series Fraggle Rock not only brought joy to audiences with its vibrant characters and catchy songs, but also pushed the envelope in puppetry techniques. 
The innovative approach to bringing the Gorgs to life and Karen Prell's unexpected casting as Red Fraggle are just two examples of the show's enduring impact on television and puppetry. In 1983, the TV series Fraggle Rock brought the whimsical world of Fraggles, Doozers, and Gorgs into living rooms across the nation. While there might not be substantial information available on the topics you mentioned, Here's an interesting tidbit about the show. Fraggle Rock was a creation of Jim Henson, the genius behind the Muppets. The show was set in a subterranean world and followed the adventures of the Fraggles, small, colorful creatures who loved to sing and dance. They lived alongside the hardworking doozers and often found themselves in comical conflicts with the gigantic gorgs. This show was unique in many ways, but one of the most distinctive aspects was its dedication to promoting cooperation and understanding between different cultures. Each group of characters represented a different perspective, and the show used their interactions to teach valuable life lessons in a fun and entertaining way. While Fraggle Rock might not have the trivia you were seeking, it remains a beloved classic that continues to captivate audiences of all ages with its charm and timeless messages. In 1989, this became the first US TV series to be broadcast in the Soviet Union. In 1989, the TV series Fraggle Rock achieved a significant milestone as it became the first American television show to be broadcast in the Soviet Union. Created by Jim Henson, the series had gained popularity worldwide for its imaginative storytelling and colorful puppet characters. Fraggle Rock, which originally aired in 1983, followed the adventures of a group of whimsical creatures called Fraggles who lived in an underground world. The show's themes of friendship, cooperation, and understanding resonated with audiences of all ages. Its unique blend of entertainment and meaningful lessons made it an ideal choice for international broadcasting. The decision to air Fraggle Rock in the Soviet Union marked a cultural exchange between the United States and the USSR during the late 1980s. It allowed Soviet audiences to enjoy the same enchanting adventures that had captivated viewers in America and beyond. This broadcast served as a bridge, fostering a sense of connection and shared enjoyment between people from different parts of the world. The show's success in the Soviet Union demonstrated the universal appeal of Fraggle Rock and its ability to transcend cultural and linguistic barriers. It served as a testament to the power of storytelling and the enduring legacy of Jim Henson's creative genius. In conclusion, Fraggle Rock achieving the distinction of being the first US TV series to air in the Soviet Union in 1989 showcased the show's global appeal and its ability to bring people together through the magic of puppetry and storytelling. Fraggle Songs, the unforgettable 1983 TV series in 1983, a unique and imaginative TV series called Fraggle Rock Songs captured the hearts of viewers, both young and old. Created by the legendary puppeteer Jim Henson, the show was more than just entertainment. It was a message of unity and harmony. When Jim Henson pitched the show to HBO executives, he described it simply as a show for kids that would end war. HBO ordered the series on the spot, the first ever for the fledgling network. Jim Henson's vision for Fraggle Rock songs was clear from the start. He aimed to create a show that could bridge gaps, inspire peace, and promote understanding among people, even if they were as different as the Fraggles, Doozers, and Gorgs who inhabited the world of Fraggle Rock. HBO executives were quick to recognize the potential of this ambitious idea, making it the first series commissioned by the growing network. Originally, five different endings for the opening, with each of the main Fraggles saying down at Fraggle Rock, were filmed and meant to alternate between episodes. However, the one with Boober was the only one consistently used. One with Wembley was included in the episode The Terrible Tunnel, while one with Gobo was used in The Finger of Light. Fraggle Rock songs also showcased innovation in its production. The show's opening sequence was a testament to this creativity. Five different endings featuring different main characters saying down at Fraggle Rock were filmed. Although the idea was to alternate between these endings in different episodes, the one with the endearing character Boober Fraggle became the staple. A few rare instances saw the alternatives, like Wembley and Gobo, making brief appearances in specific episodes, adding a touch of variety to the series. An animated series based on the show aired on NBC Saturday mornings. The influence of Fraggle Rock songs didn't end with its original run. 
an animated series based on the show made its way to NBC Saturday mornings, further expanding the franchise's reach. This spin-off brought the magic of Fraggle Rock to a new generation of viewers, ensuring that the spirit of the series continued to live on. In summary, Fraggle Rock Sons, born from Jim Henson's vision of a show that could bring people together, was not only a pioneering series for HBO, but also a timeless classic that left a mark on both television history and the hearts of its audience. Its legacy continues through spin-offs and fond memories, making it an enduring part of entertainment history. As we draw the curtains on our journey through the enchanting world of Fraggle songs, I invite you to pause for a moment and bask in the memories, the melodies, and the magic of this timeless 1983 TV series. Just like the Fraggles themselves, our connection to this show runs deep, intertwining with the threads of our own stories. Fraggle Rock wasn't just a TV series, it was a symphony of imagination, a chorus of camaraderie, and a treasure trove of life lessons. It was a place where doozers built their dreams, gorgs crumbled, and fraggles danced to the rhythm of life's ups and downs. In a world of furry, fuzzy, and feathered friends, we found kinship, laughter, and a sense of belonging. As you reflect on your personal connection with Fraggle songs, I encourage you to dig deep into the recesses of your memories. Recall the songs that made your heart sing and the characters that felt like old friends. Share with us your favorite moments, the lessons you carry with you, or the laughter that still echoes in your heart. Your stories and thoughts, like Fraggle Rock itself, are a testament to the enduring power of storytelling. Thank you for joining us on this journey down memory lane. Your time and interest are greatly appreciated. So, let the memories flow and the nostalgia bloom. Share your Fraggle Songs journey with us, and let's keep the magic alive. Warmly. <laughs>